Many of the greatest Lakers teams in history were at their best on the fast break. It's the game's most creative environment, and generations of stars have used it as a stage to showcase their talents and imagination. But there's a specific type of player that makes this happen more than most. Someone with the hunger to go up and get the ball, and the athletic gifts to make that happen. But also someone with the handles and speed to push it coast to coast, and the vision to see an open teammate ahead of them before they even begin to dribble. In this video, we take a closer look at the team's newest transition star to examine how Russell Westbrook will help the Lakers rebound and run. The job of a perimeter rebounder is a little different than their interior counterparts. One of their responsibilities is to sandwich rebound. The idea is that when the opponent's big is fighting on the offensive glass, the guard drops down to pressure him from behind. Ivica Zubac has earned inside position here, but Russ is able to get his hands on the ball at a height that most guards can't get to without a running start. So bigs can just worry about putting a body on the offensive rebounder, knowing that Russ will swoop in to clean these up. He has the strength to absorb contact down low or rip the ball away if opposing bigs don't secure it properly. His ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with bigger players like this helps the pick-and-roll defense as well. His job is to go over the top of the screen on this play, and James Harden decides to attack the basket as he turns the corner. But keep your eyes on Russ. Since Robin Lopez has to commit to Harden, Russ is now responsible for Nicholas Claxton. And since Russ went over the screen, he's behind Claxton as the play starts to unfold. But Harden's drive means that Claxton doesn't have a clear lane to roll to the rim, and Russ uses that as an opportunity to cut in front of him to get inside position. These battles between rolling bigs and guards who are trying to keep them off the boards are very common in the NBA, and Russ wins these matchups as often as any guard in the league. But perimeter rebounders aren't always the first players to the ball, so they have to win long rebounds too. Russ has great anticipation in these situations, and you'll often see him break toward the ball a split second before anyone else does. If he sees two other players fighting for it, he'll square himself up to them so he can read and react to whatever direction the ball caroms in. Once he secures the defensive rebound, he immediately begins to scan the floor to get familiar with the landscape he has to work with. His first look is to the rim runner, who's streaking up the floor and usually a big man. Russell recognized these opportunities right away. Anthony Davis is one of the game's best rim runners. He can beat transition defenses in a foot race and has the hands to catch just about anything while finishing comfortably on the move. Switching on defense can lead to more of these rim runs. Russ switches on to Draymond after this pick and roll, which puts Rui Hachimura on Steph Curry. But once the possession changes hands, that means that Steph is responsible for keeping Hachimura off of the rim run. That's a size and athleticism mismatch, and Russ recognizes that right away, leading to an and one. AD is great at sliding his feet and sticking with a guard after a switch. So you'll often see him contest these shots and then just keep running up the floor to take advantage of this size mismatch. and he'll now have both LeBron and Russ looking for him in these situations. If there's no rim runner available, Russ will look to make the hit ahead pass up either sideline. He delivers these with accuracy and velocity with either hand. If Russ doesn't have a teammate open ahead of him, he'll look to push the ball in transition with the speed dribble. He's a handful once he gets ahead of steam, going around defenders who are caught in no man's land, and powers through contact when opponents who are out of position reach in. He'll often bring the ball up the left sideline, which means that the open floor ahead of him is all in the direction of his dominant hand. Then he'll suddenly step on the gas and drive middle. This change of speed and direction often ruins the defender's angle and gets Russ to the front of the rim. If that defender does get back early, but sets up too deep in the paint, Russ will simply go over the top of them or through them, especially if they're a smaller guard. So defenses will try to stop the ball early against him, but that's easier said than done. Russ gains control of the ball here, but rather than going straight up the court, he drifts to his left, making sure to cut off Ben Simmons' angle before he attacks. Then he reaches across his body with his right hand to pull the ball back toward the middle before attacking the open space that he created. 
Not only does Russ know how to get his defenders out of position, he also knows how to keep them there. If he notices that a player is a little late in getting back in transition, he'll dribble it right up their back and keep changing direction as he does. That prevents them from turning around and getting their feet set, which effectively takes them out of the play, even though they're right in front of him. So his transition game isn't just the result of his physical gifts. He has an understanding of angles and positioning that he uses to create and maintain advantage. On this play, he follows Robin Lopez like a running back following a lead blocker and creates a transition opportunity that didn't otherwise exist. Russ is such a threat when he has a head of steam that he usually draws the attention of a second defender to wall him off, and he knows how to use that extra attention to create opportunities for his teammates. If the big is trailing the play rather than ahead of it on the rim run, Russ will look to drive right at the teeth of the defense or across it before passing the ball behind him. This functions as a moving but legal screen that clears space for the trailer. LeBron does this for trailers too. Wing shooters also benefit. Collapsing the defense like this gives shooters clean looks where they can step into their jumper with confidence. So Russ converts these defensive rebounds into early offense in a bunch of ways, just as a few other Laker greats have before him. But it's very rare for a team to have two players who could do this. LeBron dominates the transition game in ways that are similar to Russ, and there's an interchangeability on the break that should make them compatible. LeBron can leak out for a hit-ahead pass while Russ secures the rebound, but LeBron can do the same for Russ. When combined with AD's rim running and the rest of the team's ability in the open court, opposing defenses will have a lot to account for. The style of play will lead to some turnovers and other mistakes of overaggression. That's always been the case, and some degree of that is unavoidable. But it should also lead to a lot of easy baskets for the Lakers in the game's most exciting setting. And many of those moments will be due to the remarkable talents of Russell Westbrook. Oh, my God.